So students, uh, welcome back to one more session of the alcohols chapter. We've already completed the alcohols chapter. I've done the preparations, I've done the chemical properties, I've also done the name reactions. So gradually, I'll be going into the phenols topic. So phenols, after phenols, we'll be doing the ethers top chapter, like the, the ethers topic. Once I'm done with alcohols, phenols and ethers, I'll be doing list of 20 to 25 reasoning questions. So please go through all the reasoning questions. So what I've observed in the videos are uh, your when I'm giving you a list or when I'm preparing a playlist of all the videos, you are just watching. Maybe uh, uh, I've seen students <laughs> going through the uh, videos where you know basic reactions. Please don't do that. Every topic or whatever video is uploaded to you, everything is important for your exam. We never know from which corner of the reaction is given to you. So please go through the videos. Mechanisms are important in organic chemistry. Reactions are important. Reasoning questions are important. Basically, my target is to hit that 70 out of 70. So please go through all the videos on a regular basis. Fine, so let us start with the phenols chapter. So, <clears throat> when I speak about phenols topic, right, we very well know phenols represented by the aromatic ring benzene with OH, correct? Yes. Now, in this phenols, you have preparations, you have chemical properties also. Basically, when I look into the phenols chapter, phenols you will study under preparations of phenols you will be studying reactions <coughs> involving the cleavage of OH1 reactions involving cleavage of OH bond and you will be studying reactions involving only benzene ring reactions involving benzene ring yes so uh, when I look into the topic now let us start with the first preparations so first when I speak about preparations of phenols so remember what I did is you have uh, different different preparations of phenols. So what I did, I picked up the common things. So that means I have taken the starting raw material as benzene and from benzene I am going to prepare phenols in different ways. So understand this will be also useful for your conversions, right? So basic uh, uh, the sin is I picked up benzene as the raw material. So when I pick up benzene, now we are doing preparations of phenols. Preparations of phenols in this so what did i do i picked up benzene now from this benzene ring i'm going to prepare phenols by four different ways just see I'm, what i'm going to do i'm going to do a process called chlorination right i'll do chlorination by step by step step by step i'll prepare phenol i'm also going to do or <coughs> a process called sulfonation I'm also going to do sulfonation of benzene ring. With this sulfonation, by step by step, I'll be preparing phenols. After that, I'll be taking benzene and I'm going to perform a reaction called nitration. And again, by step by step, step by step, I'll be getting uh, the phenol uh, preparation. Finally, I'll be achieving or preparing phenol ring, phenol. And also, be I'll be taking <coughs> your propene right i'll be taking propene to this propene i'll be introducing a dehydrating agent like phosphoric acid and i'll be preparing phenol also and finally last but not the least we also have a reaction called decarboxylation of of <coughs> salicylic acid decarboxylation of salicylic or sodium salt of salicylic acid salicylic salicylic acid okay salicylic acid yes salicylic acid fine so this uh, decarboxylation salicylic acid so i'll be doing uh, going step by step so let us write come back and do one reaction to the other but remember the final product preparation is for phenol so let us start with the preparations so this is easy for you to remember during the exams when you go for your exams try to prepare this flowchart in your mind so with that flowchart when you go for your exam you can just correlate okay this is this is the step then this is the step then that is the step so please go prepare the flowchart i'm asking you to make the flowchart in your brain not on the paper and just leave it so make the flowchart in your brain and try to go to the exam and as soon as any question given on phenol you can directly do that so let us start so i'm going to start with the first one so now i said what is a raw material which i picked up i picked up benzene as a raw material right so now what am i going to do i'm going to take benzene yeah i'm going to first chlorinate it now observe 
when i say chlorination reaction what do i require there should be some <coughs> reagent which has to supply the electrophile chlorine to me yes so for this i am going to take alcl3 or you can also take fecl3 not a problem right so thus the electrophile here provided is cl plus correct yes you have done in your grade 11 cl plus now this cl plus will go and attack this benzene ring so what do i get i get chlorobenzene so let us name this this is chlorobenzene correct yes now this chlorobenzene further now remember whenever you see chlorobenzene in the paper that means you have to do a name reaction called dos process i've done a video also on this dos process please go to the video chlorobenzene register chlorobenzene means you have to do a name reaction called dos dos d o w s dos process this is called dos process for dos process the temperature maintained should be 623 kelvin <coughs> 623 kelvin and 300 atmospheric pressure so pressure maintained is same under this condition only you will get a phenoxide ion so and i am going to fuse with sodium hydroxide yes now observe carefully so what happens is your cl yes your cl and your h will come out as hcl okay done now what else is left now this benzene and your phenoxide ion so benzene and your sodium phenoxide so what is this called sodium phenoxide ion sodium phenoxide done once the sodium phenoxide ion is prepared i'm almost close to the reaction done simple this is your uh, sodium phenoxide now acidification reaction now means you acidify this reaction with hcl acidification when you acidify with HCl, what happens? Your Na and Cl will come out as a salt and the leftover H plus. Now, this is breaking here. This is cleaving here. Minus, plus, plus, minus. Cl and Na will come out as NaCl and the leftover you get phenol. This is your phenol. So, observe carefully. I just did chlor uh, chlorination basic I, every time whenever i do uh, phenol preparation i pick up benzene as a basic raw material chlorination addition of chlorine yes once chlorine is done i as soon as you see perform the dose process once dose process this is these are the conditions dose process is used to convert chlorobenzene to sodium phenoxide so once you get the sodium phenoxide in the reaction now work is done almost you're close to preparation of phenol acidify this means you are neutralizing that reaction you are means you are not uh, not neutralizing wrong it is acidification basically introducing the h plus ions into the reaction so h plus in goes and salt is out of the reaction so the cl is not clear maybe cl sodium chloride this is how you are going to prepare that particular reaction. please note it now done now after this chlorination what did i say and we are going to perform sulfonation reaction correct now i'm going to erase the whole thing i'm going to leave that benzene there only because my raw material is benzene i pick up that benzene and i'm going to perform sulfonation reaction yes observe carefully now what chlorination is done so let us write your chlorination of benzene is done now I am going to do sulfonation reaction. Just observe sulfonation. For sulfonation reaction, we require an electrophile which is supplied by the fuming sulfuric acid. Okay, you can write <coughs> fuming. Okay, fuming sulfuric acid. Instead, oleum. Oleum is H2S2O7. Okay, this is h2s2o7 fine but now <coughs> this h2s2o7 fuming sulfur uh, fuming this is also called fuming sulfuric acid h2so4 okay yes now this h2so4 how does this break now just see basically h2so4 when you warm it it will break up into h2o and so3 sulfur trioxide now this sulfur trioxide is an electrophile remember here this is a sulfur trioxide this is an electrophile so this electrophile goes and attacks this benzene ring so how does this look now this open this will open up this uh, benzene and you get a h so you with that h this so3 you get so3h so 3 is electrophile it will open up this particular h plus and you get so3h what is this called this is called benzene sulfonic benzene sulfonic acid 
yes done now benzene sulfonic acid is ready now what you do you are going to introduce a fuse it with sodium hydroxide because basically always remember we try to form a stable phenoxide ion and then finally come back to phenol so when you fuse it with sodium phenoxide observe carefully your water comes out yeah and this will go and attack benzene sulfonic acid so what do i get i get so3 na and water is out. water is out that yes now name this sodium salt of benzene sulfonic acid so i'm writing it as sodium salt of benzene sulfonic acid okay sulfonic acid done now i am still almost closer yes now <coughs> what do i do to take out that so3 from the ring i am going to further introduce excess sodium hydroxide further excess sodium hydroxide means suppose if i take two moles of sodium hydroxide what do i mean i am taking two moles suppose if this is two moles can i write so two moles means like just to show you all naoh and naoh yes simple as that two moles i'm just trying to show you now observe carefully this naoh and naoh your na2 now this is your this is na and your na what happened yeah you get na2so3 is out na2so3 sodium sulfite is out now this is done now what else is left your h2o is out your h2o is out now what is the benzene ring now in this benzene ring you left out with your sodium phenoxide now observe carefully i am adding that sodium phenoxide to this simple just like your earlier reaction once you get sodium uh, phenoxide so name this this is sodium phenoxide now once your sodium phenoxide is done acidify this h plus hcl this is breaking here this is cleaving here h plus and cl minus what do you get nacl is out and what else do you get you get your phenol phenol is done i have prepared phenol from this yeah so please see again benzene sulfonation introduced or introducing your so3 as an electrophile this will attack benzene ring and open up the ring and forms benzene sulfonic acid now the gradually i have to come up to prepare sodium phenoxide i have to prepare phenoxide ion so i'm going to fuse it with sodium hydroxide as you have seen water is out and so3 na is formed now we have form a salt now this salt further when i introduce excess sodium hydroxide caustic soda sodium sulfite as i told you na2so3 is out water also is out and finally you get sodium phenoxide and acidify this with hcl nacl is out and phenol is prepared this is your sulfonation reaction let us come back and do one more reaction we did chlorination we did sulfonation now we will do nitration reaction so i leave this here i want this benzene ring as a raw material so i'm going to take out this now i'm going to perform a reaction called a nitration so what what did i do now i took benzene i did chlorination i did <coughs> sulfonation now i'm going to do a reaction called nitration perform nitration mixture Yes. when i take benzene when i say nitration right nitration is a process of performing or adding an electrophile called no2 plus from nitrating mixture called hno3 and h2so4 this is called nitrating mixture now this goes and adds to this benzene ring when this adds to the benzene ring then i call this as nitrobenzene nitrobenzene now observe carefully you have nitrogen you have oxygen yes if i add snhcl okay what is this snhcl is a reducing agent okay this is a reducing agent what does it do it's going to add h plus to the ring observe oxygen is out right to h oxygen is out and this hydrogen goes there and you get nh2 aniline now aniline is done i'm almost, almost close aniline 
ऑब्जर्व केयरफुली वेन एवर यू सी आई सेड वेन एवर यू सी क्लोरोबेंजीन विच रिएक्शन यू शुड रिमेंबर यू हैव टू रिमेंबर डॉस प्रोसेस वेन एवर यू सी एनिलीन द रिएक्शन विच यू शुड रिमेंबर इज सैनमेयर्स रिएक्शन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सैनमेयर्स सो एनिलीन इज गोइंग टू अंडर गो अ रिएक्शन कॉल्ड सैंड मेयर्स रिएक्शन मेयर्स रिएक्शन सो इन सैंड मेयर्स रिएक्शन बेसिकली एनिलीन इज ट्रीटेड विथ सोडियम नाइट्राइट एंड हेच सी एल ओके सोडियम नाइट्राइट हेच सी एल इज अन एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ टू सेवेंटी थ्री केल्विन टू टू सेवेंटी एट केल्विन ओके नाउ ऑब्जर्व वेन आई री अरेज दिस बेसिकली दिस इज फॉर्मिंग हेच ओ एनो होनो पीपल इट इज होनो नाउ ऑब्जर्व दिस नाइट्रोजन एंड दिस नाइट्रोजन and your hcl okay yeah. the reaction mechanism when you follow a reaction mechanism but this is not prescribed for your syllabus but when we do the reaction mechanism observe this nitrogen and this nitrogen and this cl together forms a compound called bdc that is n2cl this nitrogen this nitrogen and this cl okay you get a compound called n2cl this is called bdc bdc means benzene डाइजोनियम क्लोराइड वॉट इज बी डी सी वट इज एजोनियम ओके बेनजीन मीन्स जेसरेन डाई मीन्स टू अजोनियम मीन्स एन डब एन ट्रिपल बॉन्ड एन राइट अगेन लिंक विथ क्लोरिन सो बी डी सी नाउ वंस यू गेट बी डी सी राइट नाउ दिस इज योर सैंड मेयर्स स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर हियर एंड स्टिल नॉट डन बी डी सी रिएक्शन सो कन्वर्शन ऑफ एनिलीन टू बी डी सी इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोडियम नाइट्रेट इन हेच सी एल एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ टू सेवेंटी थ्री टू टू सेवेंटी एट कैलविन इज कॉल्ड सैंड मेयर्स रिएक्शन रिमेंबर दैट प्लीज सो बी डी सी वंस इट्स डन जस्ट वाम warm the bdc okay once you warm in the presence of water now observe carefully when you warming this bdc immediately nitrogen gas escapes out okay yes now observe carefully your h and cl is out what else is left h and cl has come out nitrogen has escaped because i have warmed it the leftover aoh goes in attacks oh it goes in attacks this is your phenol done yes so please note it very important nitration electrophile is no2 once you see no2 this is a of procedure you have to nit ni uh, nitro to amino remember that nitration after that reducing agent hydrogen so oxygen is released and hydrogen is emitted now once you this you perform the sand meyer's reaction where you get bdc and when you get bdc try to warm the reaction so when you warm it nitrogen gas escapes out your hcl comes out and your oh is prepared phenol is prepared yes am i done with the reaction please note it yes so now i'm done with this reaction now let us go to one more reaction again i'll erase the whole thing after this <laughs> now what am i going to do i am going to introduce or i am going to convert i am again taking the raw material benzene yes now observe to this benzene what am i going to do i am going to introduce an alkene that is propene ch3 c h double bond ch2 propene here i am going to introduce h3po4 which is acting as a dehydrating agent means it remove water dehydrating agent dehydrating agent right now you'll wait in a temperature of 200 degrees centigrade now what happens at this particular point this propene will go and add to this benzene ring yeah how does it add observe carefully the bond is broken here so take that thing this carbon should be at the center methyl on this side this is single bond this is ch3 this h is there this is called cumene cumene what is other name isopropyl group right isopropyl benzene this is also called isopropyl benzene okay that now observe to this particular thing i am going to introduce oxygen almost at 130 degree centigrade Now what happens? This oxygen, this is nothing but OnO. This will go and break this and join here at this particular point at the center carbon. Now how does this look? This looks like C. Now observe C. The CH3 is still here. 
this CH3 is also still here. Now this, these O2 will join as OOH. Now this group where you have O and O linked, it's called peroxide group. So, so this is called uh, cumene O group peroxide. Cumene peroxide. Peroxide, o, double, o and O both linked together. Now to this cumene peroxide, if I am introducing or if I am adding water, right? Because I need to prepare phenol, right? <coughs> H plus, right? Now observe, your CH3 CO CH3. So this is your O CH3 CO CH3. Your acetone is out. Yeah. What do I get? CH3 CO CH3 acetone. And the leftover is phenol. Yes. So this is how you're going to prepare. Take the benzene, introduce the propene ring into that. At, with a dehydrating agent. So this is your dehydrating agent. So with this dehydrating agent, dehydrating is removal of water, you will get cumin peroxide. To that cumin peroxide, if you are introducing 130 degrees oxygen, it will go and bond at this particular point. Yes. <laughs> Once you are further introducing water in the pres uh, presence of means, uh, H plus ion, acidic medium. So what happens? The acetone is out and the leftover is phenol. This is how you are going to prepare if they are directly asking you prepare cum phenol from cumene or prepare phenol from benzene. Anything is the same. You can just go through this mechanism. Yes, done.